Hello everybody, this is Sunita Rawat and I welcome you all again to my channel Sunita's English Adventure. I hope you all are doing well. So if you don't know me already, let me tell you this is one stop solution for your English learning or English learning doubts. Here you can learn English through conversational videos, through reels, some English related content, vlogs in English and I provide some tips and tricks as well. So this is the best channel for you to learn natural, functional and practical English. No more headache of grammar, okay? Because it's a headache for me too. I am also very scared of grammar, okay? So I think it's natural to feel scared of grammar. It's so wide, so confusing. But there is one tool, there is one app that can help you get rid of this fear of grammar, okay? So we are going to talk about that app only in today's video so the name of that app is grammarly i've already spoken about this app in many of my videos but i feel that still people have some doubts how to use it if it's paid or many more questions like that so i thought i should make it clear through a video because i guess you'll be able to understand it better through a video through a demonstration all right so here we are with the demonstration but before this let me give an overview what Grammarly is and how does it work and all that. I've been using this app for a year now and it has helped me a lot in my English learning journey. When I started speaking in English, that time I was making lots of grammar mistakes. But this app helped me in correcting my uh, grammar mistakes and bringing me close to accuracy in English. So this is going to help you also. It's, and let me uh, make this clear also, that it does have a pro version, it does have a paid version, but we can make do with free version as well. We can manage with free version, okay? Because free version provides uh, these grammar checks and sentence improvisation as well. So that would be enough for us to learn English. So I am using free, a uh, free version of uh, Grammarly only so you can use it too without any second thought it's totally free free and free okay okay so enough talking and let's show you how can you actually use it to your best benefit because action always speaks louder than words so better see the demonstration okay guys so this is an Android phone so what you have to do you have to go to Play Store okay so I already had that app, but I've installed because I wanted to show you. So let's go to search apps and search Grammarly. Okay, just a second. G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y. Grammarly, okay. Let's click the first one. And you have to click on this one. This is the app that I was talking about. Simply click on install. All right, it will take a few seconds, a few seconds to process, and you are almost, 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 almost 98%, 99, and it's installing now. Now we can open this app. Okay, so let's see. So, Grammarly. Okay, let's open it from here. Hmm get started welcome to grammarly writing assistant agree to the terms and condition agree now we have to uh, do some settings actually so we'll open settings and then you have to search for grammarly here is grammarly see what you have to do you have to enable the option of display over other apps so from here i have enabled the option okay here is it okay it's working working okay now open settings you have to agree to all the terms and conditions and from download apps you have to click on the grammarly writing assistant it's uh, turned off now so you have to turn it on grammarly writing assistant enable it okay allow then you have to sign in. If you already have an account, uh, a Google account, a Gmail account, you can simply sign in from that account. If you don't have any account as such, you can sign up and create a new account. So here I'm signing in. 
So I have already my account logged in in this phone. So I'll simply click on sign in with Google. And that's my email ID. Okay. So here I am successfully logged in. So I have to allow Grammarly to send notification. You can see this icon floating on your screen. So this is what Grammarly does. Okay. Okay. So this is the home screen of Grammarly. So here you can see an option of draft. So what you can do like uh, when you write journal, so you simply write it down on a piece of paper. So instead of writing it down on a piece of paper because uh, there you can't get your mistakes instantly you can't get it corrected so you can write it here as well like if you want to journal your day simply go to draft and start writing about your day for example i will intentionally write it wrong so that we could check grammarly okay so i'll write i did went to a party today okay let's see how Grammarly can help me in this. So here Grammarly has started giving me some suggestions. So let's see that. I click on this. Okay. See. So Grammarly has completely changed my sentence. From did went to the party. It has changed to I went to a party today. So this is the correct sentence. Now you get to know about this thing that I was uh, writing it all wrong. Now this is the current syntax structure. So from, so from here you can learn. Okay that uh, okay this is how i have to say if i went to a party today okay now let's take a different sentence fluency needs efforts let's see hmm so you can see right it has caught this mistake as well so here it says that Fix the agreement mistake, subject verb agreement mistake. So let's click on this and fluency needs effort. I got it. Okay. Now you got the mistake, but do you know why we have used effort in place of efforts when we are talking about more than one efforts? One effort, right? So let's go to chat GPT now. I'll ask chat GPT. Fluency needs efforts. What's wrong? Okay. So here it says that effort is usually used as an uncountable noun when talking about the journal idea of trying hard. So that's why we will not use efforts but we use effort fluency needs effort okay so this is how it has given me an explanation you can use grammarly in your whatsapp as well can you see the floating button here so when you write any message to your friend let's suppose you're writing is you there and it's wrong definitely so see how grammarly corrects you here are you there and in your gmail as well when you write emails to your company your colleague or whosoever like you when you write professional emails that that time you need not to worry about your grammatical mistake grammarly is at your disposal to help you so what are you waiting for install grammarly in your phone right away you can also use grammarly in notepad where you can write anything and get your grammar checked as well at the same time so it will help you like it, it acts as a tutor as well for you like the way Tutors correct your grammar. Grammarly can do the same thing for you for free. Okay, guys. So, this was not it. So, this was just about Grammarly. That one tool I use for my grammar mistakes and sentence improvisation. But there are many other apps that I use for my English. So, this was just a trailer about ChatGPT. And if you want to see the whole picture, like how do I use ChatGPT for improving my English, stick around and be in this channel if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet consider subscribing it and press the bell icon too so that you'll get the notification as soon as i post that video all right so stay tuned take care and we'll see you very soon thank you so much for watching